Seven years ago, the world witnessed the debut of a legend, the greatest wide receiver to ever touch the field. B. Hall played his very first regular season game against the Baltimore Ravens. The game ended as a 29 to 26 heartbreaker, but what did B. Hall do? 41 yards, one touchdown, and two tackles. You could see it even back then. Greatness, grit, and a hunger for more. Fast forward seven years, three Super Bowl rings later, B. Hall is playing in his final regular season game. Back to where it all began against the Baltimore Ravens. But this time, ladies and gentlemen, it is not just any game. Freddie G, the former wide receiver too, B. Hall's right-hand man, his partner in crime, the man who once played in his shadow, has returned as a wide receiver one for the Ravens. And this, this is the first time that Freddie G is returning back to Cincinnati since walking away at the start of the year. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, the student faces the master. Freddie G wants to prove that he can shine just as bright on his own. B-Hall ain't going out without a fight now. I'm telling y'all, this is the clash of the titans. But there's more on the line than just pride, all right? The one seed is on the line for the Cincinnati Bengals. If we win today's game, the path to the Super Bowl runs through Cincinnati. Freddie G's return back to Cincinnati. Deron Ham is locked in. He's ready to show the league why he's the best lockdown corner in the NFL. But before we get into that, let's do one last comment of the day in the series. We don't do comment of the days in the playoffs unless it's absolutely necessary. So this might be the last comment of the day. All right, comment of the day. Goes to Tom over B Hall. You can't come back to your hood, huh? Nope, he was dissing before the game. Then he threw a pick near the goal line. Ha, huh. little boy, I wish you would try me. Yo, Pringle, that's my dog. But Pringle, you know I'm real shysty. All right, we'll end the comment of the day on that. All right, but look, a lot of you guys were in the comments last video telling me that I need to lower down my training regime. All right, we're gonna relax the guys a little bit. You know, usually I want the guys practicing hard throughout the year, you know what I'm saying? We're running pads on Thursdays, you know what I'm saying? But we gonna go light. I learned that from Mike Shanahan, you know what I'm saying? Lowry, we gonna go light as well. All right, we're gonna calm it down because we are very depleted. Mario a day, he's out for four games. All right, he's gonna be out for three weeks in the playoffs. The earliest return for him is the Super Bowl, all right? Darren Mappe, our starting QB, he is also out for three games. His earliest return would be the AFC Championship game. That means that boy Benny Diossi, the rookie draft pick, gets to step in. All right, now he's already stepped in for two games this year. 42 for 45, 93% completion rate. 572 yards in his two games. Eight touchdowns, one interception. This guy can ball. Y'all call him Benny Diossi. We call him Dio around here. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my boy Dio. He's feeling toxic too, man. Plus one arm strength, plus one speed, plus one stamina. He's pissed that he didn't play all year long. He's been feeling like he's the better quarterback than Mafe. We have some real QB competition here in Cincinnati late in the year. Now, I also saw another comment in the last video talking about Wahartan needs to be converted to a wide receiver. I really been thinking about this consideration. Dimitri Wahartan, man, this guy's a receiving back. I'm telling you, man, nine receptions, 71 yards as a running back is very impressive. He could definitely be playing the slot, all right? If we move him to wide receiver, though, we would have to find a free agent running back. And this guy, Cardona, he's not looking good, all right? Same with Tanny, Lucas Tanny. It'd be kind of rough. And also, we got to get rid of a player. I got to keep everybody on the squad. So we really don't have space to move him to wide receiver. We got a new kicker turner for the game all right i've assigned kick returner duties to deron ham it's b hall's last year i want to minimize the chance that b hall gets injured all right we don't want him taking full momentum hits on the kickoff deron ham you're gonna be the man on the kick returns all right here we go week 18 at home against baltimore you say i got my orange on you feel me i got the sunscreen too it's orange Go get your sunscreen you're saying hold on let me get the eye black on yeah get your sunscreen on we bad already now this is our trayvon rice coming up the this is our trayvon rice coming up the tunnel you know what i'm saying <laughs> you feel me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we get into the game, one last thing. Let me improve my rehab facilities. All right, we can't be having anyone getting injured. Training facilities, let's get that up as well. Morale is up. Stadium, you know what I mean? Let's improve everything for the fans. The last dance concludes here. Week 18, last regular season game for B-Hall. Will Freddie G seal the show and take down the legend himself? Or will B-Hall end the, his regular season run victorious? Let's get into this Week 18 matchup. Here we go. Yenda kicks off. Baltimore starts with the ball. It's a passing play. Oh, my goodness. Let's lock in. It's a throw over the middle. Incomplete. Deron Hampson. Let's get it started. Yeah, D. Ham. Here we go, Dio. Oh, my God. They just won't learn. They just won't learn. One-on-one -on -one to start off the game. Dio puts it right on the money. B-Hall. First play. The master. The apprentice. He's in the building. He wants it all the way. First play of the game. He's coming out to make a statement. Give him the ball. Give him the ball. Give him the ball. Touchdown. B-Hall. Let's get it started Freddy G. Yeah, 
And we want that one C. We want that one C. B.O. Putting it right on the money. This kid can absolutely ball, man. Here we go. Oh, they throw. Here comes Freddy G now. Freddy G wants to respond. They go for the pass again. They have it around the ball. But there's another incomplete pass. Wrong hands in the building. I'm saying don't forget to eat your ham now. We got the turnover chain on. You feel me? Let's get it. Warton. Let's get it started. Okay. No yards. Jesus. Gotta get him in rhythm. You know what I mean? Gotta get him in rhythm. Gotta get him in rhythm. Oh, find him over the middle. Oh, D.O. Okay, D.O. You're a little too much now. That was a crazy throw, man. B. Hall. Last regular season game. On the comeback. D.O. Facing under the pressure. B. Hall. Dukes outside. Inside. 18 yard game. Let's get it started. My goodness. Cincinnati Bengals. Oh, fit it in there. D.O. Fit it. Oh, my God. The master. He's showing y'all why he's a Hall of Famer. Why it's Oliver Rice. Teton Swain, bro. I gotta get you fucking, man. Oh, bro. All right. He's on the deep post. Diossi wants it all. Nope. Diossi makes a perfect read. Oh, what a read. What a read. To that boy. Make me a pizza. Make me the pizza. Lorenzo. 26 yard game. Don't forget about my boy Lorenzo, man. Lorenzo needs more snaps. Oh, my God. Red zone one on one with B Hall. Red zone one on one B Hall. He has no chance. Oh, what a start here for Cincinnati, man. 16 to 0 to start the first quarter. Oh, my goodness. Baltimore's deep in their half yet again. Here comes Freddie G. All right. They've been passing a lot. Now they finally run the ball. It's short of the first down. Cincinnati Bengals defense is getting stopped. Oh, me, oh, me, oh, my. You know what I'm saying? Bullet pass. Ooh, ooh, too much juice on that, D.O. Hey, turn it down a notch, D.O. Turn it down a notch. Make the right read, D.O. Here we go, Bosa. Here we go, Bosa. Up the middle. There you go. Bosa wants more snaps. Bosa's been complaining about a snap count. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and rightfully so. Third and long here. I gotta find B. Hall. Gotta find B. Hall. D.O. Put some juice on it. Oh my god, D.O. Puts it right on the back shoulder. My god. Okay, I see you, D.O. Here we go, B. Hall. Here we go, B. Hall. Three of them can't tackle you. Come on now. Y'all better put some bodies on that man. Dio, he put too much air under that, man. Come on, Dio. It's his last regular season game, man. You got to keep it a little lower, man. Come on, though. Oh, here comes Freddy G. They have it. Oh, Freddy G, Tuesday reception. Oh, my. Oh, my God. One second left, please. Let's get out of the half. No. Walton. Freddy G responds right before half. Oh my god, Baltimore gets their touchdown in 16 to 8 at halftime. That was a statement drive for Freddy G right there. He's got one touchdown, BL's got two. Here comes the second half. All right, here we go. For the one seed, can we get it done? Deron Ham, he's on the kick return. Here we go, D Ham. Here we go, D Ham. Oh my god, okay. All right, let's run the ball. Run the ball. Warton, Warton, I need you on the run. I need you on the ground. You gotta be better on the ground. Here we go, here we go. Let's run the ball. You know what I'm saying? Warton, I need you better on the ground. I need you better on the ground now. Come on, man. I need you to break on some run. This team's Gotta be able to run the ball effectively, man. Negative two yards on third down. That's not gonna do it. And we gotta punt the ball, man. Here come the Ravens. Baltimore's in their own pass. The running back takes it. Rice missed the tackle. Come on, bro. We did all that intro for nothing. Came out the tunnel like that for nothing. Oh, Walton's having a bad game. Quarterback throws it. Walt, what, what? Come on. Freddie G gets a second touchdown of the game, man. It's 2-2. The master and the student, they're going back and forth, man. B. Hall, we got to respond, man. We can't go out like this. I'm not losing to the Ravens in my last regular season game in this series. I'm not doing it. We started out with a loss against them. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I can't do it. I can't do it. B. Hall. Put on the money, deal. Put on the money, deal. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm about to pour honey on you, go. Jesus Christ, man. Jesus Christ, man. Jesus Christ. B. Hall. Plumble. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is happening? See, he wasn't doing this in year six, year seven. You know what I mean? Like, you could tell the man that that neck injury really affected him oh my god fumbles on the yak right there man you don't see that at b hall oh my he's getting old man here comes freddie g oh the running back takes it ham was too slow baltimore's on the 19 it's a throw over the middle we gotta cover him better man what the hell Lowry? three touchdowns for freddie g baltimore goes up by seven we gotta find him one deal put the ball in the money there you go deal there you go deal there you go deal here we go b hall still beating them off the line still beating them off the line in your eight still making jukes in your eight in your eight in your eight as we end the third quarter off b hall 49 yard game eat your vitamin c now i'm saying fourth quarter everybody go get something orange i got the vitamin c i got my sunscreen you know what i'm saying get something orange right now because it's the biggest fourth quarter of the year this is for the one seed this is to win in freddie g's rematch he's got three touchdowns b hall can we match him b hall Ooh, he almost escaped that hurdle gotta find him d.o put the ball in the money bullet pass what a pass by d.o b hall with the yak let's match go let's go touchdown for touchdown man for man you know what i'm saying we can go six for six stop playing with him two point conversion i want the lead i'm aggressive 24 to 23 for the Bengals. what a game right here in week 18. Here come the Ravens. They're on their own 39. Oh, Freddy G, big game. Baltimore's on the 26. Can the defense muster a stop? Trayvon Rice, why did you do that intro? 149 left. 29 to 24 for the Ravens. Can the Bengals get a touchdown here to win in Freddy G's return in week 18? The game for the one seed. Let's lock in. Let's find B. Hall. Let's find B. Hall. You know he's clutch. You know what I'm saying? Eight-yard game. He didn't find B. Hall last game on the last play of the game when he looked like he was open. He's pissed. All right? He's absolutely pissed. 10 yards First down, B Hall. Finding him. Finding him. Throw it up, Dio. Throw it up, Dio. 
Ooh, Dio, a little too much juice. Settle it down, Dio. We're getting Benny Diossi some great playoff experience right now. This is a big game. Here we go, b -Hall. 19 yard game. Good stop here. Oh, Dio put it over the linebackers. Oh my God, what a ball by Dio. Oh my goodness, Sky Banjo. Get your Banjos out, 31 yard gain. I got my dish soap too. I'm gonna stop playing with him. Look at how he lofted that ball over the linebackers, man. Shout out to D.O. You already know where this ball's going. Stop playing. He is on the island. He's not getting the Megatron treatment. Come on, man. I know he picked them off earlier in the game, but you think you're gonna stop him twice down here in the red zone? Stop playing with him, D.O. Put the ball in the money. Touchdown, b oh. The master. The go! Look at Dio, man. A little patience. You gotta throw that right away, Dio. It's all good, though. He waited for the route to develop. All right, look at B-Hall, man. Look, 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 look. Ah! There you go. We gotta get the two-point conversion, too. We gotta get the two-point conversion. See, there you go. That's better time. 34 seconds left. Ham, I need one stop. Ham, ham, hail Mary. We'll see you later. B-Hall's final regular season game. The Bengals win 32 to 29. Wow, wow. Wow, what a game there, and we finished 14 and 3. Buffalo finishes 14 and 3, too. But we're number one in the AFC North. I think this is one of our best records we've ever had in the regular season. Quote me if I'm wrong, all right? This is a stacked AFC, though. Look at all these teams in the AFC. Deron Han had a great game today. Hey, man, I know you got three touchdowns scored on you, you know what I'm saying? But Ham, he did his thing. Benny Diossi, first game back, 368 yards, four touchdowns. Had that pick in the red zone, but I like how Dio looked. You know what I'm saying? I'm confident in my man in the playoffs. He's got composure. Well, right? Harton 24 yards. Ass. Bosa with 58. Banjo with 43. Those guys are contributing. You know, up the middle. But it's the main man, the master, the go. 270 yards, four touchdowns, and he's got a nine rating. That's how great this game holds him up to. You know what I'm saying? Those are the standards they have for the go. They expecting 300 yards every game. Teton Swain, 23 tackles. I don't even know what that means, but shout out to Teton. He's out here playing ball. I love it. Hakeem Walton, ass. Draymond Rice, 12 tackles, 10 out of 10 rating. And Deron Ham. He did his best against Freddie G. His old teammate, you know what I mean? 10 tackles, 10 out of 10 rating. All right, there you go. Tenton Swain maxed out. Gives us a CC. We got 33 left. Just GOAT stats right there, man. 17 receptions in his last game. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna miss him when he's gone, man. Let's take a look at the final year regular season stats. All right, we'll start out with Elijah Yanda. 16 games, kicked six field goals all year. All right, we don't kick field goals around here. He made all six, including a 64 yarder. All right, this guy's a beast. We might need him in the playoffs here, all right? Playoff games, they always come down to a field goal. Elijah Yanda, he's staying ready. All right, four and a half star player. Deron Ham, all right, 16 games, 144 tackles. He's so different. Two interceptions. This guy's a tackling machine. I love this guy, man. Oh, man. Literally single handedly won me a Super Bowl. This guy's going to be huge in the playoffs. Shut down corner, Deron Ham, all right? I'm looking forward to seeing him play in the playoffs, all right? Get your rice. 14 games, only 78 tackles this year. Three interceptions, two sacks on a forced fumble, though. He's going to be doing a little bit of everything. As a linebacker, 78 tackles. I need more than that. Trayvon Rice, here we go. Hockey. Walton, 17 games, 93 tackles. I like that to be in three digits. No picks, of course. Five sacks, zero fumbles. Let's see if he can make a difference in the playoffs, man. Teton Swain, 202 blocks. No idea what that means. Shout out to Teton Swain, all right? Sky Banjo, 17 games, 62 receptions. He had a slow start to the year. Had to get up to speed to the NFL level, you know what I'm saying? The NFL talent is different, you feel what I'm saying? But as a rookie, he started blossoming later on in the year. 789 yards, got seven touchdowns. Sky Banjo, he's starting over Lorenzo Bosa right now, which I'm not sure I like. Like, I might have to bench him just so that Lorenzo Bosa gets more of the snaps because you know what I mean? Remember, he's a retro MVP. 46 receptions, 584 yards. You know what I mean? Sky Banjo was taking away a lot of his volume. Four touchdowns. We know how special Lorenzo Bosa can be in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? Dimitri Wahartan, 72 attempts, 336 yards. That's 4.6 yards per carry. All right. On this game, that is absolutely tragic. Two touchdowns in 17 games. And he's got five fumbles, man. This guy fumbles once every three games. This is ridiculous. Receiving, though, 11.6 six yards per reception okay two touchdowns only five fumbles on receiving that's not good for Dimitri Warton and Benny Diossi the rookie all right he ends up with a 92 percent completion percentage 68 for 74 941 yards 12 touchdowns in three games this guy throws four touchdowns a game man two picks in three games only taking four sacks I'm looking forward to seeing this rookie play in the playoffs that's gonna be real interesting man between him and Mafe because Mafe we know how good he is 79 percent completion rate 4,231 yards 44 touchdowns on the year but he threw 18 picks. Or I threw 18 picks. What the hell? 18 picks? Jesus Christ, he's a turnover machine, man. Mario Ade. Italian Stallion, all right, in his rookie year. 15 games, 75 receptions, 16 touchdowns, a touchdown a game. He's got three fumbles, but Mario Ade, man, he was the perfect number two to be Hall. It's kind of a shame that we won't get to see him in the playoffs until the Super Bowl, all right? But B Hall, 35 years old. He's retiring. It's his last
last year in year eight. 13 games, 177 receptions, 2,257 yards, 29 touchdowns. If he doesn't win Offensive Player of the Year despite only playing 13 games, I'm gonna be pissed, all right? What an absolute legend, all right? Let's get into the playoffs here. Let's see who makes it in the AFC, man. Tennessee beats Las Vegas 23 to 13. And the Chargers beat the Browns 37 to 30. We play in the wild card game against Kansas City. Patrick Mahomes coming to Cincinnati, all right? Let's see if B-Hall can carry the Bengals in his last ever playoff run.